Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.11. Today's update is huge. It's like the biggest update that we've gotten so far. It might not contain very many physical things that were changed in the game, uh, but Unturned has been swapped to a new engine, Unity 5, the newest version of Unity, and with it comes on the developer side of things, uh, better tools to improve performance and graphics, which we do get to see a little bit in this update. And because Unity 5 comes with the uh, asset bundles in the personal edition, which is free, uh, anybody can create mods for Unturned for free. Whereas before, you had to have the Unity 4 Pro edition, uh, which was pretty expensive. <laughs> In terms of changes that we can see in the game, first off, the performance should improve for many of you guys. And some graphical changes include a gradient skybox, which means that, uh, it's, as you can see, it's kind of like a deep sky blue up above, and then it starts to get to a lighter white near the horizon, which is actually very realistic, and it makes the game just, I don't know, it's such a subtle change, but it just makes the game look so much better. And also at, like, sunrise, you can see that it's kind of like a bluish at the horizon and kind of a pinkish up in the sky. On sundown, it's very interesting. Uh oh, full moon emerges. <laughs> but uh, I, I should probably get away from Stratford. Oh dear. Uh, very bright pink sky and a yellow horizon. It's very cool. Additionally, in terms of lighting, uh, circular objects now appear like more circular. Like if you look at this tree down at the base, you can see that there aren't very many polygons in this tree. But the lighting, it makes it appear like it's a perfect cylinder. Same with weapons. You can see that this has very few polygons on that barrel, uh, but you can see that the lighting is still smooth. Well, you can actually kind of see the edge right there, but it's definitely an improvement over before. Also, some of the shadows have been smoothened a little bit better. And overall, little changes making the game look a lot better. Also, for modders, it hasn't been implemented into uh, PEI yet, uh, but items now support reflections so if there is any sort of metal object that you want to put on an object of some sort uh, you can make it reflective which is pretty cool as well so for example like maybe if you were to make a billboard you could make this uh, this pole right here slightly reflective now that pretty much covers all the additions into unturned 3.11 in terms of some tweaks there were actually quite a few major ones the cobra now supports uh, a military suppressor on it, so you can put on a little military suppressor and have a suppressed cobra. Pretty cool. I'll drop that real quick. The honey badger now can be placed in the secondary weapon slot. That's going to be very cool. That's totally going to be my favorite weapon. You could have a primary weapon, like an RPG, and then also have a honey badger that you can quickly swap to by pressing one or two. Also, with the RPG, when it was first announced, uh, it used to just fly in a perfectly straight line exactly where you wanted to, and that was pretty scary. Now it requires quite a bit more skill in that the rocket actually drops. So if you were to, like, shoot a rocket at that tree, let's say, uh, before you would just aim directly at it, but as you can see, the rocket now travels down a lot more and it ended up hitting that road. So you gotta aim quite a bit higher, probably like that. Maybe, maybe jump for good measure. No, that was not a good idea. Don't jump and shoot a rocket. But I had the general distance, right? All right, like that. Come on, baby. Oh, we're going to need a lot more than that. But you kind of get the general idea. It no longer flies in a perfectly straight line. It requires a little bit more skill, and you're going to have to get a lot closer to your target in order to have a better chance of hitting it. It pretty much covers all the major tweaks and fixes. All the rest are pretty minor, but if you guys like to check those out, as always, I will put the full update post in the description down below. In terms of map creators, there are a few things that Nelson recommends you guys do in order to update it to the new engine. First is to tweak the lighting on your map to take advantage of the new ambient lighting, the new gradient skyboxes, and all that stuff, because all of that is customizable in the level editor. If you want to skip the whole tweaking with the gradients and stuff like that, uh, you can just drag the most recent lighting file from the bundles and levels folder to your map and lighting folder. Also copy over the materials file from the bundles and level folder on over to your map and terrain folder, and this will allow it to work with the physically based rendering of Unity 5. And then lastly, copy over the details file from the same location and also drag it into the terrain folder of your map, and this will fix the change in texture brightness that comes with Unity 5. Now I keep staring at this water, and I don't know why it looks so much better. I'm really confused. Is it because it reflects the blue more? Or it has a better reflection of the clouds? Or... I don't know. I kind of want to know. 
Interesting. Anyway, very cool. I don't know. I, ca I, gotta, I gotta look at a before picture. I don't know why this looks so much better. Anyway, in terms of mod creators, uh, Nelson recommends that you just re-export your assets in Unity 5 in order for them to work better. Um, they might work now, your current mods, uh, but the audio might be a little bit screwed up and the shading might be a little bit funny. So just re-export your mods and re-upload them to the workshop in order for them to work correctly in the new update. Now keep in mind that this is like a new engine for Unturned and when it was first transferred, Nelson just wants you to know how disastrous um, it was. The graphics were unrecognizable, the sound was terrible, the game just simply did not work and it's definitely in a lot better condition than it was before, but there are definitely going to be some bugs. So just play the game and if you come across any sort of mods, be sure to report them on the forums to help make this transition to Unity 5 a lot smoother. Over the course of the next week or so, I'm sure we'll get um, some fixes for the minor issues we're coming across now. Uh, but anyway, that pretty much covers everything in Unturned 3.11. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because being like Big Boom is out.